Ron Huff, President and General Manager of Vegetable Grower Supply, joins in Now You Know to discuss the rise in pricing on boxes and what grower packer shippers can do to mitigate the price increase. When you look at what's going on in the marketplace right now, paper companies have all announced price increases on their liner board. And it's around $50 a ton, pretty consistent, and they're all going to take effect, or they all say the effective date is coming up pretty soon, within a few weeks. So unless something can be done, the cost of the farmers is going to be significant. If you just look at iceberg in the Salinas area alone, which is about $450 million crop value, that'll cost farmers over $3 million in carton cost if you annualize it, and nobody can afford that. What we encourage is we ask our customers, let's take a look at your box and let's see if it's the right box. Some of the things that farmers can do is to look at the weight of the box. Paper is bought and sold based on weight. We also encourage looking at the footprints, looking at the gaps in the box, how is it constructed, not just in the weight, but also when it comes together and it's folded up, does it need to be as tight as it is? Look at the number of cartons that are being made, and, and is there a way that you can make them all the same way? And if you have to differentiate, then you do it with artwork. Because if a box company can run a similar grade over their corrugator, you're going to get the benefit of a long run and you'll save a little bit in the cost. We look at the design of the box and the color of the box. If it's just a box that's going to transport product to the marketplace and then be discarded, you probably really want to think about do you want a fancy box with fancy print or, you, or do you just want a carrier with one print on it. We are also looking at offshore supplies where it makes sense, and we've used quite a bit in the last few years. Not always, but when it makes sense. It's really amazing that there were like 15 major paper companies, and now there's only a, a very small handful. Thank you for watching, and now you know.